Good afternoon, folks, and thanks for joining us. Today on the show, we have joining us the top-ranked glory heavyweight kickboxer, Antonio Plazabat. Antonio, how are you doing today, sir? Yeah. yeah. Good, good. It's, it's very nice day. It's very hot. Yeah. I'm a little bit uh, cooking myself, but it's nice. I like I like nice weather. Like it's it's good. I so you them. you split yeah. your time between the Netherlands and Croatia. Be honest with us. What country has the better food? Uh, oh, food Croatia, and uh, that is I'm saying by uh, by every Dutch people that I know that been in Croatia, like. Like a few days ago, Walter from like my coach from the gym and Mike, they both like Mike was a few. Mike always come here for vacation now, and yeah. Walter was here a few days ago, and he also said like, okay, the food is better here. Like, there's there's no that, question in my mind. <laughs> Croatia like a, better better yeah. scenery and better food by a long shot, right? Yeah, the one one guy from the from the gym, he's mm -hmm. Dutch, like yeah. pure Dutch. He told like. Netherlands conquered the whole world. They brought everything back, but they forgot to bring the spices yeah. to, to spice the food. <laughs> so I'm just I'm just saying what that Dutch people are saying. No hate. <laughs> that, that's exactly right and, and they know they are absolutely know anyway so you are coming off a major victory at glory 80 studio you won by knockout against Tariq. how's everything since you won the lot since you won the knockout major congratulations tell us how you're feeling Ah, it's good. It's it's always nice when you finish fight. You you did your job good, so you just happy celebrate. And now I'm just ready to like. I want every fight to win by knockout and not any other way. So mm -hmm. I try to be as much as entertaining as possible. I hope people also like it, and I had a good time. I really enjoyed the fight, but only only problem was that there was no public. But job is a job; you need to do it. So it's it's, it's good. Do Do you find it awkward to fight with no audience, or is yeah, it something, yeah, it is it is uh, very awkward. It's it's like not even like sparring. There are more people on sparring, I think, than than it's on the fight. So it was really awkward. And then my girlfriend, she was. Uh, she was panicking because she thought I would be too lazy because there are no people because I, sometimes I can be like that. Then mm. she was screaming like crazy all the time. So I have the feeling like that there are more audience. So, and I was just like hearing her more than I hear Mike. Like I heard, I'm all, ah! and yeah, <laughs> but it was, it, it, it's funny now. It's nice, you know. Did, did, did it take you a few minutes to kind of warm up? Like like you said, it felt like sparring for a little bit. Did it take you a few minutes to get your head in like, oh, this is a actual fight here? Yeah, it's, it's, it's really weird. Like, it's, like I said, it's worse than sparring. Because in sparring, after the sparring, it can happen, whatever. And nobody yeah. talks about it. But like this, it's, it's like, it's, it doesn't feel like a fight, but... It's promoted as a fight, and then it's it's just weird. Like it's weird. Nothing else. It's just super weird. Yeah, I can get with that. No, I we yeah. are going to talk about the glory heavyweight title picture because there's so much happening in the glory heavyweight division. But before, I think the people really want to know why do you hate the new Batman movie? Be honest with us. Don't hold back. Uh, yeah, <laughs> because listen, I paid. A ticket to watch a movie about a Batman. Yes. Basically, a superhero who can bench press 1,000 kilograms, squat 1,000 kilograms, yeah. jump, uh, do every every Olympic, every Olympic record he can do it. He's yeah. basically super oh, superhero without powers, but in the end he have some kinds of powers. They say he's only smart, but no. And he, people argue that he with prep like prep time that he will be the beat the superman yeah and yeah. then i go to the cinema and i like uh, open uh, the movie started it's all good then he starts fighting with i don't know five or six kids on the street yeah and he's getting hit and getting some problems and then i should talk about that and then people start talking to me ah you don't know you didn't read the batman this is beginning batman blah 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 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Main Batman was trained by Draza Ghoul, and when he finished the training, he was already a fucking badass. He yes. beat Draza Ghoul. He like, I know there are more like multiverse and there are more kinds of Batman and everything, but if I if that was a detective movie about some guy like Liam Neeson and he was fighting other people and everything, no problem. But it's it is it, it is a Batman movie. It's like Batman, like Spider-Man is fucking superhero. And then I watched him climb to the building and he got scared of the height. Uh, <laughs> like what it's it's like Superman got scared of the flying, like like whoa, what is happening? Like ah uh, I cannot like the for me the Christian Bale Batman, like the Batman with Joker, the trilogy, yeah. that was yeah. like more realistic approach to Batman, you know. There was not too many crazy fighting scenes or too many crazy uh, stuff to do. Or uh, that was like, let's say, human Batman. He just fights good, little bit push-ups, little bit chest. He looks good, you know. The Bane is also not some crazy villain. He's also basically guy on steroids, yeah. and that's it, you know. So that is realistic Batman. And now they took it one step further and make it even more realistic. So. Now he's not even strong. He's just human, and uh, and I don't like this approach of him not being a playboy. And uh, he, oh, it, it's just it, it's just getting on my nerves. Like it's just no, you have Batman, you have everything written, you have yeah. more I don't know how many hundred years worth worth of storytelling, and yeah. then you want to uh, like do something of your own. I I. I can see what are you doing. I respect it, I, but just mm -hmm. do the comics and take the fucking Batman, and everybody will be happy. But you, you, and you've and been a comic book fan for your entire life. Before you were kicking people, you were reading comic books. I don't know why. Oh, sorry, that's okay. But yeah, you've been reading comic books your entire yeah, life. Totally. You're, you're a major comic book fan, right? Uh, yeah, I, I would not say major. Like I. Hmm. I, if there are levels to it, like I'm beginner, but I've been reading it like the, for the whole life and not so much reading it, but, you know, going to, I don't know, like Wikipedia pages or just seeing what I want to know and stuff like that. The superheroes mm -hmm. I like and, and stuff like that. That's that's it. But uh, but uh, I it's not that I know everything, but I know some stuff and... And this realistic, uh, realistic Batman or stuff or whatever, I don't want to do. I, I'm not with it. And I also like the, for me, the best looking Batman as a Batman is the one Ben Affleck one. But yeah. how were the movies though? Did you like the movies? We all like the Batman, but did you like yeah. the movies with Ben Affleck in it? Uh, oh uh, no. Yeah, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, the movie was shit. I like. Literally, I'm just like thinking, like when I see Warner Bros. What what does what do they do with the uh, with the movies? I'm like, what the fuck? Like, it sucks. Why? Like, why didn't they just let the I don't know the was Zack Snyder just yeah. do your thing and that's it? Like he started doing the let him do the mm -hmm. trilogy or whatever he wanted, and then continue say like multiverse or whatever and continue do something else. Yeah. Why do they need to fuck it up bad like that? Like, I don't understand. It's like, I am watch, watching that and not understanding stuff. Also, the new Thor movie, I also don't like even one bit. Tell us more. Bring us up to date here. I'm mixed on it. I, I kind of agree with you that it could have been better. But wh why didn't you like the new Thor movie? A new Thor, uh, f like for me, hmm. I will watch every movie they put like that. I like yeah. it and stuff like that. But it's, it's basically a one-liner comedy. Yeah. Like too much of it with some action and bright colors. That's it. It it seemed like more of a Monty Python movie. There was never a grounding moment. You know what I mean? Like it no, was just no, like it's slapstick. Like the Thor is the the Thor, like the mm -hmm. I know it's like okay, like for, like from the first few parts, like the stubborn god, like god like little bit not dumb but doesn't understand the earth on so he has some funny moments, but in the end he's like the god of thunder, very powerful. This, and he in this movie he's, he's just one-liners, and that's it. Like, yeah, I, I know I, what you're I, saying. It's like 
okay, like I had fun watching it and everything, but that I I don't want them going in that direction. Like I know Marvel is like all comedy and her, but too much comedy is also I don't think uh, good. Like I I'm I'm looking forward to the new Deadpool. I hope yes. that goes that goes like PG eighteen, very dark, like make it like properly. Or, yeah. or this gore story with uh, with Thor, that's yeah. basically one of my favorite comics of Thor, like against gore. And it's really dark, uh, dark uh, with a big message, with uh, with everything. And he's really dark character, killing everybody. They are too like... Uh, there are a few moments, you know, it's like very good the comic, like I really like it. And then I come very excited to see like Gore the God's Butcher and uh, he's like mm -hmm. some bold guy with one-liner comedy and that's it. Like, <laughs> And the God Butcher is why? so cool. What an awesome villain the God Butcher is. And then this is the movie around yeah. the God. They know? just did it. like, we need a villain. Okay, we're going to do this just to get as, as much comic fans as possible. Yeah. And that's it. And then they will complain like it's shit. So yeah, I I don't like in the in the way it, it goes. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe in the end everything comes good and it's I don't know it it become great. But right now the one liner comedy tour I really don't like. No, and I agree with you as well. And I like the other the the other Taika Waititi Thor movie because it was a ton of fun, but it still had grounding moments. It was still very serious when it needed to be, and it was funny when yeah. it needed to be. This one was just like, yeah. yeah, I don't know. I agree with you. I, I think they they saw like people like some comedy with Thor, and they just overuse it too much. They just went like, okay, full on comedy. It's it's not even an action movie. It's basically comedy with little bit action, and yeah. the action, you know. If I watch Thor or Spider Man or Batman or Superman yeah. or, or any superhero movie, I want to exit the cinema and I want uh, for me to feel like I want to be a superhero. Like, I, if I watch Spider Man, I want to exit the cinema and be like, okay, I want to be Spider Man. Like, this is the shit is really cool. Yes. And after the tour, I exited the movie and I was like, eh, yeah. no cool fighting scene, no. And, uh, like, you know, you know, the moment, what I want to say, like the moment when Thor came like in the Avengers with mm -hmm. the hammer, big hammer and like uh, brings the light and kill everybody. That's mm -hmm. the moment everybody is like, ah, like I want to be that guy. Yeah. Like you get hype. But this one is just. Yeah. Like it looks like it's, it's not good. Like, yeah. No, I. I completely agree with you, but you and I have been talking for almost 15 minutes, not about fighting at all. So let's get to your fight career. Who in the Avengers do you think you could take in a fight? In Avengers? Yes. Well, if if, if, if it's going to come, uh, if it's going to be like these ones, like if they're going to continue the Avengers like Batman. Mm. Oh, one more thought. Uh, go ahead, please. Please go ahead. Uh, the, the Fast and Furious franchise. Yeah. The Rock and the Vin Diesel will probably beat the shit out of the this <laughs> Batman, the new Batman. Like, 100%. Man, they're badass guys in those so. Fast and Furious movies. They're breaking cement yeah. and they're breaking streets and stuff. Yeah, they, and these are humans, normal humans, and he is a yeah. fucking superhero. So that's my problem. <laughs> I love but the Fast and Avengers, Furious franchise. <laughs> I don't know. Realistically, no one. Get out of here. They're going to make, like, really human versions then probably with someone with less power, like, I don't know, like, I don't know. Ah, probably no one. But, yeah, that... <laughs> you're nah. not supposed to say that. You're supposed to hype yourself up. You're supposed to be like, I'll kick the Hulk's ass too. <laughs> nah, yeah, but realistically speaking, well, yeah, it's, 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 it's not happening. Like, <laughs> <laughs> No bullshit guy right here. No bullshit yeah, no, Antonio no. Plaza yeah. bot, man. So, so yeah, upcoming, you've got, cool. we've got some major stuff going on in the Glory Heavyweight Division. Two guys are going to be fighting for a title eliminator at Glory 81 on August 20th, and the winner will be facing you later this year for an interim championship. When this idea was presented to you, what was your initial thoughts? What's your reaction to the interim title? Uh, well, to the interim title, I like it, but mm -hmm. uh, let me be real. Uh, 
if I don't beat Rico, I'm not really a champion. So only when you beat Rico, you can call yourself a champion. It will be nice to have that belt and to put it at home to like to mother and father to be proud. But of course, yeah, but and to get more money, of course, but uh, but uh, still, uh, if you don't beat Rico, you are not a champion. So. Even after that fight, I'm waiting for him to take his head off and then we can celebrate for real. Then, I don't know, then we can get properly drunk like, and celebrate. <laughs> How do you picture a fight between yourself and Rico Verhoeven going? Oh, first round, he's a little bit trying to do some, some of his stuff. Yeah. Coming in, getting catch. And second round, getting catch. First knockdown, second knockdown, third knockdown. Bye bye. I love to hear it, man. That's absolutely awesome. Yeah. What was what was your reaction? Because he's taking a fight outside of glory, not defending his title. He's going to fight Hezdi Georges. When you heard that, what was your reaction to this? Well, if I am uh, only the guy, and I don't. If I don't know nothing to do anything, mm -hmm. and he can beat me easily, and uh, it is just luck that I beat Adevoy, then I don't understand why didn't he take me to fight him at the heated show because he could feel, kill two flies with uh, one scoop, scoop, you know, because um, he could prove the point to me that he's better and all that. But he took Hesdi because he thinks that Hesdi is the easiest fight, and uh, that's the reason. So. Obviously, I'm not the easiest fight. No, and that's absolutely true. But so uh, upcoming, we have Benjamin Adigbui, a gentleman that you've beat, versus Jamal Ben Sadiq, a gentleman that you've trained with. So yes. uh, it's a weird scenario, isn't it? Would you fight yeah, Jamal? It's really weird. Right now, I'm like, if I'm gonna fight, like I'm, I am, I am fighter for glory. I will fight who who they say. But yeah. I really hope we do it some some other way because uh, I want to fight like Levy for him. He is the prince of kickboxing, so let's fight the prince. And Jamal, I still think me and Jamal have some people to beat. Okay. And after we beat all the glory, then we can say, okay, this is business. Let's let's do this because we are training partners, training. I help, helping him, he helps me. It's a little bit weird. I don't think it's necessary now and it's it's not for the belt like the rico belt it's for uh, for the interim title so i don't think that's necessary now we will see what what happens in the end but mm -hmm. um, I, I don't know yet like I, I i honestly don't know but like i said i i don't want to fight my teammate it's it's like really really weird situation like that's like yeah cuz now i'm going to cheer for him on this fight against the boy and then like i cheering for him to fight me like ah i know yeah. it's it's weird it's an awkward situation yeah. and to add to this benjamin attic buoy is booked on that day in october for a different fight organization so yeah, levy riggers it seems like it might be the right opponent he's already booked on the card without an opponent yes of course when they first uh open the card i hope like okay i'm fighting levy but mm. i don't know if glory doesn't want to give me levy or is he scared or something i don't understand it because i think they want to promote him or do something with him but i don't think he's that guy or he's ever gonna be that guy mm. he's not that good and i don't think he will ever be like beat like Tariq. so mm. Matt, it, he is it's... the prince of kickboxing. Give me the prince, I beat the prince. Give me the king, I beat the king. And then then I don't want to be either. I just want to be the guy who beat them to a vote. Just... No, absolutely. So best case scenario for you is fighting Levy and then Rico in that order, right? Well, yeah, but after Levy, I don't see who else to fight. But they are also talk about Alistair or this and that, but... I, I don't know, like, we see what happens in the end. I also understand why Rico want to fight Alistair, but uh, I think Rico is, is uh, deep inside. He knows that, that I'm the guy who will finish him, so. 
Oh, and he, he, he tried to postpone his death as far as possible. No, I think you're absolutely correct. And fighting an Alistair or Botter, like, but, but you're going to be training with Botter for his Alistair fight, are, are you not? No, no, Botter is now at side gym. Oh, we my bad, sorry. Good, yeah, we are still good, but he's now at side gym. He's not uh, with my gym anymore, so he's training there with uh, Jafar, Nordin. Uh, I don't know who else is there from Glory, but uh, yeah, he's there training with them guys, yeah. And uh, bra and Overham is training with Vroshek. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, great fighters there. But how do you see that Badr Hari versus Overeem fight going? I don't know. That's a really interesting fight. First, I don't know which Overham we're going to see, like how he will come. Mm -hmm. And also, we don't know which Badr we're going to see. Like, so, like... I, I think it's going to be very crazy first round. I think Bader is going to go all out and we see what Alistar do. Can he handle that or maybe catch him with like with a hook like in the first time or or Alistar have crazy dangerous knees, maybe knees like there are few solutions, but I know the that fight is going to be like very entertaining. I'm excited for it. You're excited for it. I'm excited to see whatever happens to you on that card as well, because none yeah, of us know, right? Yeah, yeah. So I'm still checking, waiting what's going to happen, but it's going to be nice. It's going to be night, night. It's going to. I'm looking forward to it. Absolutely. And I want to ask some more questions about you. So what? what's your beef? You hate weight training. What's the story here? Uh, weight training, it's, uh, I like doing Olympic weightlifting, okay. like, uh, like Olympic, like uh, snatch and uh, how it's called, clean and jerk, I think on English, like yeah. that one or uh, those kind of exercises I like doing, but uh, the, like the bicep, triceps, chest, uh, that, I, I, I don't see a reason to do that or like, I, I was just thinking a little like on the training now with the guy. He's like the famous fitness coach here from Balkan. Mm -hmm. Like if you are going to the gym to look better, to get more chicks. Yeah, I understand that. Like I, I can totally it's, it's normal. But if you are going to the gym and you are not you are doing some crazy diet, uh, crazy everything. Uh, uh, taking a lot of steroids, like I know a lot of guys are taking, and uh, that only to look good, and to me that is like, if you don't have any crazy purpose, like I know you like it maybe, that, but I really don't see like why, and I really don't like it, like I can do bench press two, three mm -hmm. times, and I'm bored after it, like, uh, like it's, I and I don't feel it's beneficial to me in any way, like, I feel when I do like the snatch or uh, that's, I feel like I'm getting more explosive, getting better. And in the end, the scientifically proven that are the best exercises for explosion. But like doing the bench press all the time, like I, 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 I really hate it. Like but what I about, can do like, it. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. I can do it like, I don't know few times and after that i need to switch it up or do something interesting i need i need to do something a little bit more i don't know crazy or something but just standing and pushing weights like biceps up and down it's like i get so bored that i think even with pre-workout i'm gonna sleep on training oh yeah <laughs> it's just not fun but what about the benefits of that body like if you could get alistair overeem's body would you take it given the opportunity Nope, that nope. is too much effort, too much effort for that body, and I don't think uh, that look is is really that helpful. You know, he does it. I think he does it because he likes it. Yeah, probably. Yeah, but uh, I don't think he gets much better because of very big biceps. Yeah. I'm going to have him on the show probably later this year. I'm going to tell him what you said, okay? Uh, yeah, I think I know him. I think he told me even once, like, 
he does it because he likes it and he liked it. Yeah. You're good. You're the, good. The, the I to me it's like um, I don't feel I'm getting any better than the floor for that and or anything. Like if I really wanted to, I could uh, check my diet and eat uh, only chicken and rice and uh, watch uh, grams of the food to look better. But I am not uh, not a fitness model. I don't. Uh, I am not. Uh, I don't know bodybuilder. I don't want to be hungry. I want to eat good. I'm a heavyweight. I yeah. want to be eat good, sleep good, feel good. And if I feel all of those three, I'm good. Hey, that's awesome to hear. Now, what's the thing? Did did you once claim that you were the strongest man in the Balkans? Did I hear that correctly? Oh, yeah. yeah. Not yeah, what's, in Balkans. What's the story with me? Uh, I made the... Uh, I made like uh, fun videos and stuff on YouTube about debt collectors, okay. but that is really hard to explain if you are not from Balkan, like from the split debt mentality. And I made like fun videos about the guys, how they do drive motorcycles here and stuff like that. And I have some, the most of the guys here from Balkan call me like the debt collector, okay. like for fun. So. It's, it's some jokes that I do, like did it on for YouTube, and uh, yeah, some stuff like that. Yeah, I couldn't find anything about this in English. So, like you said, like this is like a very localized thing. This is just for you yeah. guys. <laughs> yeah, this is this is this is like basically for uh, Croatia, Serbia, Bosnia. You know, it's yeah, it's. Uh, but I'm I'm thinking about it to put the titles below because. Uh, a lot of people been asking for that. I didn't mean that they're going to ask, but they are asking for it. So, yes, for the few future videos, I think I'm going to make it with subtitles on English so everybody can watch it. When can we expect new videos from you? It's been a little while. Yeah, it's been, been a long time. I have a few videos done on my mobile phone, but yep. right now I'm too lazy and too busy to <laughs> watch it and post it on YouTube. So I do that maybe when I come to Holland or in a few days I post some video. I did some Q and A like mm. with the guys asking questions where I've been because I didn't post for I don't know almost a year now, or the last video I tape it's like almost a year something like that. Hey, I'm looking forward to it, man. I got I got so many more questions. Are you okay to keep going? Yes, yes, just going, just keep oh. going. You said that okay. You said that girls like idiots. <laughs> what does that mean? It is very simple. It's not like idiots like dumb people or stuff like that i didn't mean that way but girls like uh, how to say hey uh, croatian it's easier to explain i'm looking for it to say in english but uh, girls like uh, they don't like I, I don't like i will tell this very very plainly like Yes, sir. If ever girl come to me and tell, oh, this is a very good guy. Like, he's very good. He's very nice. He's very friendly. Mm -hmm. And I ask her, like, is he in your friend zone? And she go like, yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. But if he, if she comes to me and starts saying, like, oh, this guy is shit. This guy is uh, this. This guy is idiot. This guy is this. And I ask her, like, did he fuck you? And she go like, yes. <laughs> so... Let's say it that way, like uh, if, uh, like uh, every girl have some guy that is, that's been to her the best possible ever, and if mm -hmm. she been with him, she will probably treat her to the rest of her life like the mm -hmm. biggest princess ever, and I don't know, she will wake up every morning with a breakfast, she, you know, mm -hmm. but they don't want that stuff. They want, uh, they want the guys that I don't know they. I don't know what they did. Girls are too complicated for anything, but it's, it's really it's really weird. Like from my experience, from here, from Croatia and stuff, like the guys that uh, that act like they don't care. That's the main thing. Like if you don't care, if you don't run about her and go crazy about her all day and bother her, you will be with her. But if you bother her all day and and send message thousands of messages a day and send like good morning love good night love blah blah 
bro, you are not fucking nothing. Like you are dry <laughs> as a as as a, as a desert. You are like Sahara. It's it is not. <laughs> Nothing is happening to you, bro. Like <laughs> it's not going anywhere, man. True or false? You once picked up a girl using your fight stare down. Yeah, that's that's my girlfriend. That's uh, no was, way. That's the current. That's the girlfriend. Yeah, I, I Wait, was what? just watching at her maid, and she was thinking like, "What? What this idiot is doing?" And you see, it works. Very simple. Can you can you do can you do the fight stare down? Like you can just turn it on on command. Uh, no, no, I, I'm just. Uh, yeah, yeah, that'll do it. That'll do it. <laughs> uh, and I was just like, looking like like, I decided to look at because I, you know, I seen that she looks at me, then looks away, looks at me, looks away, looks. I yeah. seen she does that, and then I just decided, okay, I just look like, and look not moving. And then she got uncomfortable because basically no one, no one did that, did that before to her. Yeah. And, yeah, and it's good. You see, it's working. It worked. Hey, she's still with you right now. Like they, it worked. Yeah, right? yeah. She's. We are now. Uh, how to say? She's my fiance. Like we are uh, engaged. Yeah. Absolutely. Hey, massive congratulations. Got a couple more questions for you. What's yes. the deal with Zagreb? I, I understand that you hate the city. Is that correct? Oh no, I don't hate it. I, okay. I like it, but I don't know. Zagreb is more like Europe. Like Zagreb is like more similar to Amsterdam. Like if you go to Zagreb, this is my problem with him. Like to people that live in Zagreb, five kilometers away, something like we go from one place to another place. It's like five or seven kilometers away. Mm -hmm. It's normal for they for them to drive like half an hour to there. Like here for me, half on, half an hour of driving, it's like 30 kilometers. Mm -hmm. Even mm -hmm. during the summer, even during the traffic, even, even during the everything. So there's too much driving. I, I, for me, like the best option is like come Friday, be like Friday, Saturday, Sunday. But, uh, but, uh, and, and it's not that I hate it. It's just like, I like split more. That's it. Like, like split is where everything is like zagreb is a proper city like million people city split yeah. is not so big like split and everything around have like probably 300 400 thousand people mm -hmm. but that is like every, all the other cities around split and split only it's probably like 200 thousand people everybody know everybody i uh, like i feel like walking around split like i'm at home like not just at home but like all through the city like i feel like you know, i'm in my living room and that's the difference Oh, Split is absolutely gorgeous. It's one of the nicest cities I've ever been to in my life. Split is really nice, eh? Yeah, it's it, it's crazy. It's crazy nice. Sometimes I'm for I forget about that, but it is it, it is really really nice. It's I advise to everybody who never been to come check it out, and you're gonna have a good time. Oh, absolutely, man. And last question for you: What advice would you give to others who are starting out in the sport of kickboxing? Uh live like a dog what does that mean live like a dog um this is not sport or any fighting sport is not for anybody rich mm -hmm. if, if you are rich you cannot do this sport properly because uh, it is very it's like rocky movie it is very hard to get up mm -hmm. uh seven in the morning like i am not a morning guy i'm not getting up at 5 a.m i am like you know it's not but it is very hard to get up go to work and kill yourself every single day mm -hmm. if you have like a lot of money on your bank account because you will wake up and go like ah maybe today it's not a good day but if you don't have any money and there's a fight coming you need to win it because you need because you need that win bonus you need that you know so you are just hungry all the time and just like i said live like a dog like it's gonna be it's not gonna be easy there's gonna be any fighting sport there's gonna be a lot of years of no money no nothing your friends will go out go partying mm -hmm. you will stay at home you will, you will need need to go sleep early you will not have social life for the last 10 years i'm only hanging out with the guys who are coming to my training like yeah. the other guys basically i don't see nobody else like only the guys who are coming to my training 
so and if it's not that way you're not gonna make it like if if if, if you you can, of course you can go out and have fun but that is like few times a year like two three times a year maybe so right. it is it is very hard life for a fighter but if and if you don't like it and not like it if you don't love it like you are shit you you will not make it you need to be a little bit crazy and really really love it and like i said live like a dog like just just every day giving your giving 100 percent and that's it and get better each and every day and like in everything like if you if you take a rock and throw it every day one year after you will throw the rock much further than the than the first time you throw it so it is just work 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 like every other job and yeah. with important thing with time the more, the better you come it does not get easier it gets harder people tend to forget that they think like it get it's like if you if i come to glory it will be easier no it will be harder because the guys there are 10 times better you need to train more you eat you need to take you know it's it's not going easier it's just going harder and harder like it is easier it is much easier to fight some amateur fight than fight rico verhoeven trust me so be be ready for that like Man, I and I'm so that that's great advice. A lot of people are like, just work hard. You were like, man, you need to be crazy to succeed in this sport. That's proper. Yeah, you, it is. It is. It is very true. You, you if you are not, uh, I had a lot of times when people around me thought I was not normal. Yeah. Because you are doing something, you have no money, you, you are not going anywhere, you are not having any fun. Everybody, you know, it's, it. it when you look look aside from it, you look like a crazy man, but. Mm -hmm. Now in the end, everybody is saying like, "Oh, it's very nice." You know, the success story. It uh, depends. Like, this is like, I was walking. I still there do that, but now people don't look weird at me. I was walking like every day from my school mm -hmm. to my home, shadow boxing. It's like few kilometers. I was I was just shadow boxing the whole way. In my depend that doesn't matter if they are friends. Or there are no friends. They got used to it, and I was just shadow boxing all day, every day. Yeah. Then, uh, like two years ago, I think three years ago, I'm walking that street, and I throw the shadow boxing, but not like the full street, like just a bit, like you know, liver shot here and there, just move, talk normally. And yeah. there's a guy, older guy from the building that I pass every day, said, uh, uh, yelling at me like. It is not even a miracle that you made it because I've been watching you for the last 10 years doing that every day, oh. you know? And if I didn't made it, I would look like the crazy man. People will still like, oh, he's crazy, he's shadow boxing. But if you made it, then they start telling your sex story like, oh, he's now successful, but he was shadow boxing all day, every day, blah, blah, you know? So mm -hmm. maybe you look crazy sometimes, but in the end, that craziness, they're going to talk about that like uh, what you did and how you made it and what did you do you can be yeah. crazy as long as you're successful it doesn't matter how crazy yeah, you are you can, do, successful. you can tell whatever the fuck you want and people will believe it like i'm i'm successful because i wake up at 5 a.m nah. now that shit is getting too funny to me because everybody's like oh you need to wake up at four like if you wake up at four what you are gonna be rich immediately like come on bro it Nothing. is very simple like just work Matt, I'm not doing that. Anyway, so Antonio Blasovite, you're going to be fighting October 8th at Glory Collision 4 for an interim heavyweight title. Last word, tell the people where they can find more of you. All that good, good stuff, sir. Ah, uh, well, Instagram, Antonio Plazibat. Mm -hmm. Now a blue check mark, so now I'm official. Official motherfucker. <laughs> and, uh, Instagram, you, there's YouTube channel, but it's only Balkan language. I try to make it also with uh, subtitles and uh, I don't know, internet glory sites, glory fights, YouTube, there are a lot of fights of me, so yeah. check it out. There are some, I think they are good fights. Don't know, check it and tell me what you think. Don't know, don't know. Yeah. Never seen them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, best of luck in your upcoming match. Thank you so much for your time, sir. Uh, thank you very much. Have a nice day. Thank you.